we were able to build something that people really grasped and loved. You know, they remember when the owners were the bartenders, you know, and uh, when Jess was pregnant, washing the glassware by hand. And then it's like a family, and we really try to wrangle that feel. One of the reasons we moved to Asheville was because of the sense of community here. And that's something that we have embraced since day one. So we found this place on what is now called the South Slope of Asheville. At the time, it didn't really have a name. <laughs> we felt like it fit us the moment we walked in. We had almost no money. We had an opportunity to go into a place for like no rent. We kind of just landed here and now this area has blown up and it's been crazy to watch. This was home to Jess and Tim and I, we lived here. And I was here for 18 hours a day from getting here, brewing, cleaning up, opening the bar, bartending, cleaning up, going home, doing it all over again. You do make a lot of kind of outside the box Beers. We like to kind of like resurrect old styles from Europe. It's all manually stirred. We don't have rakes or anything like that. So it's a kind of a very visceral experience brewing here. So yeah, I, I get to do the fun stuff here and get to be creative. Every can you pick up has like an incredible interpretable piece of art and it tells an incredible story of not only how the beer came to light, but why we were inspired to make the beer. The places to us that have always been the most meaningful are the places you kind of stumble upon, like the ones that feel like a secret. And that's, you know, how we feel about this place. It's so incredibly intimate and you're a part of the brewery when you're in it. It's not your typical experience of walking in and ordering a flight and walking out. We couldn't be more proud of this place. I mean, this place means so much to us and I think a lot of people in the community. Burial's a lifetime commitment. I wouldn't want to brew any other way.